Hey everybody! <laughs> well, today we're doing something a little different. Uh, we're walking down to close up the uh, gates because all the workers left for the day. It's yeah. Thursday night. I still don't have a video done, so I have to shoot an intro and an outro. So, there you go. welcome to the show. <laughs> this week, I am working on the garage still back there. It's actually all done, but uh, you're gonna see it finished on the show. Uh, so I work on the bathroom, electrical, some other stuff. I, I haven't finished a video yet, so I'm not sure what it's gonna be. It'll, I'm gonna be as surprised as you to see it. So let's just get straight to it. We're Douglas and Esperanza. After seeing too many people in our lives taken before they could enjoy their lifetime of hard work, I left my engineering career and we sold our house and most of our belongings. Now we are starting a new adventure, building a resort in the magical town of Loreto in Baja, California, Sur, Mexico. We're putting everything on the line to make our dreams a reality so that we can live before we die. Today I am working on electrical. Um, uh, like I, I showed before, I had to cut out all this electrical where the mezzanine's going. They're starting, um, this is Sunday, they're starting tomorrow to put in the mezzanine. I've tried to get as much as I could done before then. So I got all the white lights wired up. So I took them and wired them up to a plug, which I have on an extension cord, so that I can just see how this thing works. So let's see the lights work. Boom, and we have light. So uh, these are just, uh, we got these at Home D or Lowe's in the US. They're just a, a LED light, but they are a 7,000 lumen, which is a pretty uh, high wattage LEDs. You see we have our doors on our, uh, this is just a hollow core wood door, um, the bathroom. The tile is close to complete. Just the shower pan left to do, but the rest of it coming along really nice. They did a really nice job on the tile. We're happy with that. And uh, this glass block bubble wall here. You can see this kind of bubble design. We really like that. I mean. I know I'm going to get a bunch of people that are going to say, oh, glass block is like 1980s or 90s and who uses glass block? I love glass block. We got a little window in here. This was an addition after the fact. We didn't plan to put it in. I am in here doing the bathroom and doing the wiring in the bathroom here today. So uh, this is going to be for a fan light switch and then there's two can lights one over the vanity they'll be here one over the shower and then a separate fan and uh their fans down here are uh pretty they uh, uh leave a lot to be desired so they sell a fan here and they uh rate it at i think it it's in metric, but it comes out to like 68 cubic feet per minute. So it should be a decent fan. I mean, a 70 cubic feet per minute fan in this little bathroom be 100% sufficient. I don't even think you get any fog on the mirror with the with that this fan here. But the fans I have here that they claim are you know uh, 70 cubic feet a minute have a little tiny motor on them, and they weigh I mean only a couple ounces. And so I went up to the US, got a standard. I mean, this is about the most standard Brone fan that they make. You can see it's got a big hefty motor on it. It weighs probably three or four or five pounds. Uh, and there's a lot of copper in there. And I believe that this thing will do 70 cubic feet per minute. I'm working on putting in all the electrical and I got to where I'm wiring up the fan. And I didn't catch this when they did this. So this ceiling is solid concrete, like five inches thick. And so they put these cans in for the fan and for the, they put cans in to put can lights up in. 
uh, later. Where, you know, the LED type that just snap up in there. So that's fine. But this fan body that they put up in here, they poured the concrete around it. Well, this fan's designed to have these these clips here go into these slots <laughs> but now there's no slots because they're filled with concrete and then the actual fan body has clips that go into these slots here <laughs> and uh, those are filled up with concrete so now I'm going to chip out a bunch of concrete, try to chip out concretes out of these slots so I can at least get this all mounted up in here. All right, well, uh, get some dust in my pan on that up there. So, um, and I, I didn't make this crack. If you see this crack here, it was already here. They haven't plastered this yet. So they're gonna plaster this uh, in here and then paint it. So um, this was a tight fit uh, because of the concrete and the concrete, it kind of pushed this can in a little bit. So it was really tight. The good thing is it isn't gonna come out of there. The fan's in there, it's nice and free. Everything's wired up, so. We're ready to go. Because this is gonna be a real tight box, it's a small box that they put in, um, and it has this huge timer switch in it, which is a big device. Uh, I'm going to be really short on room in here. So what I'm going to try, something I got that uh, I did some research on, and it's the Wago wire nuts. And these are the lever lock wire nuts. This is like crazy for Mexico because Mexico, they don't even use wire nuts. All the uh, installations down here, they just tape, they just twist it together and tape it with electrical tape. That's pretty much the standard operating procedure. But uh, um, I, I'm going to use wire nuts. So you put the lever all the way up, I guess, push it all the way in, lock it down, and it's in there. So get it in, boom, lock it. And then this is more compact than, you know, the bigger wire nuts that can take all these wires. So then for these bigger connections, I have a, a three slot, connector and some five slot connectors. I got this specifically for this situation because these are pretty expensive. I mean, I'd love to do use a whole house and the, you know, all the villas with these because they're way faster and easier, but they're way more expensive than wire nuts. And uh, so, I am just using them for tight boxes. When I have a tight box, which you run into all the time, where you get a really tight box that has a lot of wires in it, and uh, the wire nuts can really take up a lot of room. And so this way, you can do a tight box. You know, there's five ground connections into this and you can see here five ground connections in this little space as you can see i got all my wagos on here i got everything hooked up so my timer switch and my light switch now the fun part we'll see if we can get all this into this box going to wire this circuit from the bathroom up to the panel. Now, you should only do this if you are um, you know, familiar with electricity and feel safe around it. 
this panel is live. So um, if I uh, touch any of that, I'm going to get shocked a lot because this is the uh, two of those are 220 uh, and it would not be good to touch it. But I'm not going to shut it all off. So I just work on it live. Uh, that way that the pump, we need to pump or anything. It's not a big deal. So turn the breaker off before you uh, uh, put it into the box so that this terminal won't be hot when you're working on it. And it just uh, clips in like this in these home light panels, these uh, square D home light. And then it's on there and it's turned off. So I'll bring the ground up. So this panel is a sub panel. The panel down at the road is grounded. Uh, the neutral is bonded to the ground at that panel. So at all the other sub panels uh, after that, the neutral and the ground have to be separated. So the neutral is running on these bus bars on either side. And then the ground is separate and it's grounded to the panel and grounded to a ground rod here. We want to keep our grounds separate from our neutrals in the sub panel. And that is so we don't get ground loops. And I want to show you this cool tool. The, uh, I saw these automatic wire strippers and uh, the electricians are starting to use them. So I wanted to check it out, and it is the coolest tool. Boom, strips a wire really fast. Super cool. Anyways, you don't want a ground loop. A ground loop is when uh, the ground, so electricity goes through the hot and then flows back the neutral, uh, back down to uh, the, where the neutral and the ground are together, and then it goes into the ground. But if they're grounded here, you can run into a situation where uh, the new, where the, the, the power will actually run back on the ground wire. And what can happen is a ground loop and that can cause your ground out here to be not at ground level. It could be at, I've seen it 50, 60, 70 volts on the ground because there's a ground loop going on. All right, put in our ground first. And we'll put the neutral over here onto the bus bar for the neutrals. And this one has a really cool bus bar that where it lines up with each breaker. So I'm just going to use that and line this neutral up with this breaker that I'm putting in. All being careful not to touch anything that's going to shock me. This panel actually has some nice rubber covers over the where the lugs hook up for the main power coming in. Uh, so that's kind of nice because a lot of times when you're trying to route these wires, then you'll hit that when the panel's hot, like it is now. So uh, that's kind of a nice feature of these panels. Let's uh, turn it on and see if it trips. If it trips, we got a short somewhere. Boom, it's on and it didn't trip. So, Let's go see if we got some power in here. We already got a yellow light. These things come tripped. So uh, it looks like it's already tripped. So we'll reset it, boom. So now I see no lights, which would assume that this is working uh, properly. Let's test it. Boom, tripped. So we'll reset it. That all looks good. And then when I get these can lights, I can pop those in and wire up everything else and then the van will work. So uh, I think we're good for today. All right, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. This may be the last time I have to do this because look, look down here, uh, we are filled up and you can't really drive in here anymore. So, Lock on. You're showing them all the good stuff. <laughs> all right, you just got a free preview for from Esperanza. Anyways, locked up, maybe for the last time. 
Thanks everybody for watching and never forget to, to live, live before, before you die. die.